hey guys we are back with another one this is my cousin's trash wig okay i'm lying the wig is not trash itself she tried on her own to bleach the knots and ended up bleaching the hair so what we are going to do is we have this little mistake we are gonna fix it we're gonna dye this hair back to jet black it is in its natural color but obviously the roots are ruined right now as you see and we're just gonna fix this bad boy because i don't know what's going on here but i'm going to bring it from this and bring it right to this okay hello so we got her laid we have her curls popping and we dyed her jet black so stay tuned for this tutorial So guys, let's get it started. Excuse the mess, but we are going to dye this hair and it is very, very toxic. So I suggest that you get you a mask, okay? You're going to get your utensils, so your brush, knife to spread on the mixture, um, a whisk if you have one, container to pour your um, dye in, get yourself some butterfly clips, always need those to hold the hair back in certain spots get yourself a tail comb mine is heat resistant your color dye so this was ion permanent um jet black dye i got two of those you're going to need the gossipy spray and gossipy gel you're going to need 10 volume developer okay from sally's you don't have to buy the expensive stuff and some gloves okay guys so we are going to get right into this we are going to dye this beautiful um unit jet black uh my cousin really tried it she bleached through these knots into the hair and we right now are going to put a sealant on the lace um making a barrier so that the lace does not get destroyed when you're dyeing the hair it doesn't seep through so i'm going to pin the unit inside out on the mannequin head apply my sealant um i'm gonna do another tutorial for that it's my little secret but i mean <sighs> we're in this youtube game now so my secrets are your secrets so uh we're going to apply the sealant on the unit and then i will be flipping it back over and applying my color So right now I'm getting the ion mixture and the 10 volume developer and I'm going to mix it together into a bowl to um, dye the hair. So as you guys can see, the lace has like a little shiny look to it. That is the barrier I was talking about. The sealant that is going to prevent the dye from leaking through and dyeing the lace. Believe me guys, 10 out of 10, this works. I will definitely do another tutorial on it but let's get into the mixing. So as you guys see, I am distributing my Ion Jet Black Cream into the bowl, and I'm going to add my 10 volume developer in there as well. I tried to add on a little bit extra um, of the developer. The mixture is one-to-one, -one, but I just add a little bit so it's a little bit more runny. Um, with the Jet Black only, I find other colors. Um, just stick to the the way the box tells you to do it whatever it would it be two to one ratio or one to one stick to that but for me i just add a little bit extra just for the consistency of it and trust me a little bit goes a long way i suggest that you guys buy two boxes for this short wig it's only 10 inch and believe me the two boxes goes a long way trust me that is enough to dye this whole unit. So I'm mixing it up in my bowl right now, getting it to the creamy consistency. As you see, I use my whisk. And that is how you want it. Over time, the color will change. So don't be worried that it looks creamy white and it's supposed to be jet black dye. That is the way it's supposed to look, guys. Um, have it like a pudding consistency. So, of course, like any hair box dye, it gives instructions on the inside guys please look please read it and you'll understand so here i am mixing up the dye ready to apply it to the hair 
So what I suggest you do before coloring any hair, comb it out, guys. Use a brush and comb it out. Because this is curly hair, it is a lot more hair to work with. It looks like because it's shorter and because it is a bob and because it is a curl pattern, it may seem to you like it's not a lot of hair. Believe me, it is a lot of hair. So comb it out first, then apply your dye. And now for applying the dye to the hair, guys. Section out the hair. This I 100% recommend because you want to make sure that you get this mixture throughout the hair. Now, if you are dyeing a unit and you want the hair to be consistent with the color, you want the color consistently throughout the hair, section your hair. I like to dye it from the roots. As you guys see, I am dyeing the roots first and bringing the color down the shaft of the hair to the ends as you see i'm combing it through just so every strand gets some of the solution so i 100 percent recommend doing this technique because growing over the years doing units and dyeing hair um i found that the solution hasn't been consistent throughout the hair it may be jet black i'm dyeing it but you may see strands of the natural brown in it so what i recommend like i said is combing the solution through the hair so i'm going to finish up majority of it then show you guys how to finish up the top of the unit we are now at the top i've dyed majority of the hair so what i'm trying to do is go through it again with a bit of the solution just to make sure that it is all around the hair. I have obviously distributed it through the root and the shaft of the hair by combing it through. As you can see, um, majority of the bottom of the unit has already turned jet black, but I just finished applying the solution to the top. So what I use is my rat tail comb and I apply some solution to my wrist. That's why I recommend you guys using gloves. And what I'm doing is combing it through the root. Now, when I say comb it through the root, I don't mean just slap it on the lace and start combing it. No. Separate a section of the hair and comb the solution from the root away from the lace, okay? So to the ends of the hair. You see how I'm lightly brushing it on with the um, tail comb and as well as my framar brush separate the section like i said of hair and comb that solution away from the lace but from the root okay as close as possible when you're doing this i can assure you that you will not get this solution on the lace believe me then again this is why we put our solution underneath and like i said i will provide a tutorial for that later but this is why we have the solution underneath blocking you from making that disaster or destroying your lace and getting the dye right through so and believe me jet black is a hard color to get off there are ways to get the color out of the lace but not all the time does it actually come out fully so using this technique believe me you will dye the unit properly so what I'm doing is finishing up the front just a little bit so I can let it sit and process. And of course, this is a unit once everything has been applied. I'm going to let it sit about 30 minutes while it processes and I will show you the finishing product. And boom. Look at that. Jet black, shiny, curls popping. Now just the style. Stay tuned, guys. Jeez. Like, do you guys remember what she looked like? Hey. Stay tuned for more tutorials, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.